We have a new update for the live action mask movie that's being made by Paramount Studios. Also, someone actually took a prototype of the Ark that's used in Raiders of the Lost Ark. They took that to the Antique Roadshow. And we have some retro toy news that we're going to talk about, so don't turn that dial. Uh, <laughs> what up to my peoples and welcome to Retro Crunch, your number one source for retro pop culture and news. Today, we're going to start off with some retro toy news, because hey, why not? So if you're a Star Wars toy collector, you may want to know that Wave 2 of the Star Wars Retro Collection has finally been announced, and there are some really awesome toy figures that are related to the Empire Strikes Back that are in this collection. We've got Yoda, Boba Fett, Lando Calrissian, Han Solo, Leia, and Luke. And they all have new figures that are coming out that are going to be exclusive to Walmart. In addition to the figures, the Retro Collection is bringing back the Hoth Ice Planet Adventure board game. And the game first was released in 1980 in time for the movie to come out. And this new release is going to include an exclusive Snowspeeder action figure. This set's going to cost about $25. And then all the Wave 2 Retro Toys are also going to go on sale in late April at Walmart. And I remember the first wave being pretty hard to find in stores. So you may want to check Walmart's online webpage to get alerts on when they're going to be available. Also, just in time for Ghostbusters Afterlife, some new retro action figures that are based on the real Ghostbusters, they're going to be coming back to Walmart this spring. And they look a lot like those 80s Ghostbusters toys that we remember as a kid. There's six figures in total that are going to make up this new set with the four of those including Ray Stance, Peter Venkman, Winston Zedmore, and Egon Spingler. You can also get their pal Slimer along with the biggest baddie of them all, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Each figure is going to be running you a cool $14.99 and these toys, they're actually going to go on sale in April at Walmart. And then on to our retro entertainment news. I have an update on the live action mask movie that's going to be happening over at Paramount Pictures. Chris Bremner, who's the Bad Boys for Life co-writer, he's actually been selected by Paramount to write the story for the upcoming Mask movie. It's believed that the Fate of the Furious and Straight Outta Compton director F. Gary Gray is still going to be the one directing the movie, but at least there's some more news that the movie is still moving forward with being made. For a few years in the 80s, MASK, which stands for Mobile Armored Strike Command, it was one of the most popular cartoons to watch. And it started to lose popularity in its last year, but the toys and the show, they're still loved by many 80s and 90s fans around the world. So there is a lot of interest in the MASK movie. Since there's a writer and director that are in place for the new MASK movie, this should head into the next phase of development pretty soon with a cast announcement and production on the film to start anytime. Then in some more news, a Day of the Dead TV show that's based on George Romero's 1985 movie. It's being made by cable channel Sci-Fi. Also, Crocodile Dundee star Paul Hogan has a new movie coming out called A Very Excellent Mr. Dundee. And they have a poster already. Then one of the greatest war movies of all time is being remade. Uh, all Quiet on the Western Front. This is a movie that explores World War I through the eyes of a German soldier. The movie actually won Best Picture in 1930, and this remake is going to have some big shoes to fill. So moving on to some other retro news, there is a link down below for an episode of the Antique Road Show where there is a guy who brought in a prototype of the Ark that was used in Raiders of the Lost Ark, and it's a pretty interesting episode. And if you have lots of time on your hands, there is over 20,000 free VHS recordings from the 90s and 2000s that were recently added to the VHS Tape Archive Vault over at archive.org. There is a bunch of old recorded movies and other stuff in this collection, and you might find some real gems if you look hard enough. Then if you're into retro news and nostalgia stuff from back in the day, I'll see you in the next video right over there. I'll catch you guys on the flip side, and remember, if it ain't retro, it ain't worth watching.